Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we'll get right into the colors and then we'll chat. So this is Aura by This Little Piggy. And then I'm also going to be using Cinnamon by This Little Piggy. On a side note, you guys, I do have a mixing video that I will post for the pigments for techniques like this that use thicker paints that are not the bloom technique. So just be on the lookout for that soon. So here is my consistency. This is the consistency I like for my cloud pours. This and sometimes a little thinner, sometimes a little thicker. It just really depends on the paint brand that I'm using. So yeah, this is a 16 by 20 inch like fluid art canvas board thingy. I don't really know what to call it. I got it from Hobby Lobby and I was going to use it for a different project, but I thought, you know what, let's just try it for this and see how it goes. I was definitely in a trying mode. It took me a while to get back into the studio and really feel motivated after the new year um, or right at the new year, I guess. I just, I don't know, it just took me a hot minute, but all these colors really spoke to me and I wanted to do something different. And so I decided, you know what, let's do a double cloud pour and see. So first color going in is going to be that ore by this little piggy. I kept wavering back and forth between this like deep turquoise and the regular turquoise, but I ended up going um, just a classic turquoise, turquoise green. And I'm layering both the cu cups the same way, or I'm trying to at least. I mean, yeah, at this point I was like, am I going to do a kiss pour? Am I going to do just two cloud pours? I don't know. So this is a, a custom deep turquoise. And I did add a little bit of, um, oh gosh, what did I add? Golden fluid acrylics and cobalt turquoise I added in there. And then I'm going to go in with my cloud mix which I ended up like dumping everywhere. I need to put it in my smaller container again because I was just, I was just kind of messy this day. Just debating. <laughs> now this is going to be a, um, a mauve, like, maroony mauve color. It's by Lucas. Now we're going in with the cinnamon. And this is Quinac, Quinacridone Nicolazzo Gold by Golden. I have just a little tiny stash of it. <laughs> I ended up getting it after it, like, they stopped making it. So, yeah, I put some of this in there. Knowing this was, I believe it's transparent. So that plays a role in how this piece unveils itself. So then I went with Cloud Mix by that again. And by putting that white beside the quinacridone Nicolazzo gold, you know, you're going to see it. So next I went back in, I'm not sure what I did. I think I had to think about it. <laughs> this color palette seems very retro to me too. And after I poured this piece out, I was definitely like, oh man, it, it gave me a vibe of something. And yeah, I went I guess I went back in with a little more cloud mix. Like I said, you guys, this was really kind of a play day. I just wanted to paint and hopefully make something pretty because, you know, this is not a small canvas by any means. Oh, I guess I hit pause. <laughs> I meant to edit that out. Sorry, you guys. Okay, so then I went back in with deep turquoise and then regular turquoise. So you can see I have a little more quinacridone in that cup to the right. So now I'm just going to put down, this was a color, this was Alizarian Crimson. I was going to use it in the cup, but I ended up not using it. 
I just, yeah, thought against it. So I'm going to let these pour out, you guys. I will say um, in the second cup, because it's set a little longer, the, the second cup I pour out, that my cloud mix definitely sunk a little bit. And because of the way I layered it, I didn't get like the big puffy clouds. However, you know, that's okay. It It does happen sometimes. So next time when I layer these cups, I might do like a sandwich layer of the cloud pour, uh, cloud pour, cloud, cloud mix. So, okay. I'm going to let you guys, uh, watch me pour these two cups out and I will be back probably right after that. Hey guys, I'm back after pouring these out. So hindsight's 2020. Um, I probably would have done a little less of the quinacridone because the Nicolazzo gold because it's a transparent. So you lose a little bit of it, but I knew it would mix with a certain color. And that is also why I put the cinnamon in there. So that kind of coppery pigment. But so right now I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wreck it because I didn't get the big puffy clouds. I love the right the pour out on the right better than the left. The left one is where the cup set and the white kind of sunk. So like I said, I would, I would pour that out a little 
or layer that cup a little bit differently. So yeah, it took me a while to commit to this. I do not wreck pours. This is probably the first cloud pour wreck. Um, I think I would probably just call these sh- the double straight pour, even though there's cloud mix in there. And I got a little bit of cloud effect, but I thought, you know what? The center looks so pretty. Maybe I could do like a feather design, just pretty minimal, but it did take me a hot minute to commit. So I love the colors. It's definitely different. Yeah, I, um, yeah, just drug a chop, chopstick through it. So there's a lot of tilting, you guys. This video was much longer because, you know, I did layer two cups. I poured out two cups. And I had to really think about tilting because there was just very specific things I liked. And I did use a little too much paint. So everything that kind of goes on the... um table gets scraped up and, and I scrape that all up and I'll use it again in the next one. But I definitely have these colors left over and I think I'm going to do it again. So yeah, I definitely edited this video and I sped up a lot of it because I took a lot of time tilting, a lot of time. So now I really am going to shut up. And, uh, oh yeah, and I took it off my spinner and ended up putting it on cups because it just didn't make sense on my spinner. It was a little too high also. So that's why I put it on these cups. But figured out kind of what corner I wanted to go to first and uh, went from there. So hang with me, you guys. I will be back shortly. Hey guys, I'm back. So thanks for hanging in with me if you did. There was a lot of tilting and I sped up every bit of it. I even cut out some tilting because this whole video was almost 40 minutes long. It just, it just took me a while. I was just having fun. And right now, for the most part, this piece is pretty much done. I end up going around the bottom and um, 
cleaning up the sides, make sure everything's covered, but this color palette seems very retro to me. And it, it reminded me of like a carousel. I don't know why. It just like reminded me of colors on an old school carousel. And I have this old picture of my mom and dad when they were dating at a fair and a carousel's in the background. And even though it's black and white, I'm like, I bet this is the color palette that was there. So yeah, um, hence the Calliope carousel, Calliope's carousel. So here is the up close and personal. These colors all worked so well together. It's those opposites. The opposites on the color wheel just play so nicely together, but you have to be careful because they can mix and get mud, you know? And I didn't get that anywhere. My paints were thick enough. Well, I did get a little bit of that purpley pink stuff right there, and that is kind of from it all mixing. And also, you know, the quinacridone, Nicolazzo gold, it's a transparent. So where you layer it makes a big difference. And in part of this, I did layer it by the deep turquoise. So as it dried, it kind of mixed and made this green, this deep green, which still works. But then I had the copper, copper, the cinnamon TLP on it as well. That whole section right there, that like big fat line. So that kind of held it up a little bit more, the color of it. But I loved it. That bit on the left, I really passed it, but where I drug, drug, I keep saying drugged. That is so crazy. Dragged the chopstick through that center part, center part and kind of got those feathery bits right here. I actually really love that. I'm so proud of myself that I just did it. I didn't go crazy. <laughs> I eased my way into wrecking it, so to speak. But, um, you know, this piece is dried. It dried beautifully. It dried definitely a little darker. And I'll show you guys a video in the next couple of days. And um, so, yeah, let me know what you think of this piece. Um, thanks for hanging out with me so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.